So I love that your father surrounded you and gave you all the history yeah. and created a playlist for you. So I would like for you to create Lonnie's list for us. So there's going to be people watching who don't know anything about jazz, who okay. you know, know that they're in a jazz city or that Kansas City is a jazz city, but don't know where to start. So I would love if you could give us five, either of your favorites or icons, or you got to know this person or somebody who's okay. underground that everybody needs to know about. Just give us Lonnie's list of people we need to know. Oh, man. Okay. Well, if we let, let's first let's put it in different categories. If we talk in Kansas City. Okay. Let's start at the epitome, Count Basie. Nothing on this planet swings as much as Count Basie. That's that's just, I mean, again, that's my opinion, but I respect it. If you go, if you go, <laughs> if you go on, if you let, so if anybody wanted to learn about what Kansas City Jazz is about, get at least one Count Basie record. Okay, if you ask which one, where would I start? I would start chairman of the board. Okay. Chairman of the board. That's that's from the Count Basie band in the, I believe, the late 50s, early 60s. But that's the one I would get. Now, if you're serious about, if you you really want to go a little bit deeper into to what it's like to to do to develop mastery on your instrument, if you get one album, it would have to be uh, at the at Massey Hall, Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie at Massey Hall. They played one night there. And they didn't have good attendance, but it's Charlie Parker, Charles Mingus, Charles Mingus, uh, uh, Dizzy Gillespie. Um, oh God, I can't call the names right now. My brain is going blank. And I, but I, I got the album over there. I mean, I got, I still got vinyl down there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I got all kind of stuff. But, <laughs> but, but I would get Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie live at Massey Hall. That okay. that's one that I would have to do. And again. If if you're 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 trying to really find this jazz thing, and and I mean, obviously it's cliche to say, "Kind of Blue" by Miles Davis. Everybody everybody has to have that. If you even if you don't like jazz, if you just want to know to get an introduction to jazz, you get that's that's it's still to this day that's the uh, the highest grossing jazz album every year. I mean, it's amazing, Miles Davis. That's back in the fifth. He recorded it in fifty nine. So again, you gotta. That would be my three. That I would say if you want to really get into learning about jazz, the Kansas City sound, jazz, and and mastery of your instrument, then just the jazz vibe itself. I would say kind of blue. Now, I don't know if this is so much a playlist, but things and people that have influenced me since I am a tap dancer and entertainer. Also, I would have to say. Uh, now, this is a guy that's kind of obscure, ba Baby Lawrence. If you're a tap dancer, you know who he is. But Baby Lawrence, and I mention him because, you know, if we talk about the lineage of tap dancers and the way it has evolved for us as a jazz tap dancer slash hoofer, a guy that's going to dance off the top of your head to when the band, like a jazz musician plays, Baby Lawrence. Uh, that's that's a name you really want to research. You want to. It's not a lot of footage on him, but the way the lineage goes is from people like Bojangles, and then you know later on people, the contemporaries of the Nicholas Brothers, like Sammy Davis Jr. and them, and then. But Baby Lawrence is uh, that's that's. I mean, well, uh, wait, I skipped some because if you go from Bojangles, then you'd have to go to a uh, uh, Bubbles, John Bubbles, and then you then you would get to. To, uh, like Sammy Davis and Baby Lawrence, but Baby Lawrence, that's the, and as a matter of fact, there's a clip you can find of when Sammy Davis Jr. had his own television show and Baby Lawrence was on there. But by everybody's account, I mean, all the old jazz musicians and my father and everybody, the jazz hooker, the guy that could come in and keep up with the bebop players, could trade fours with drummers and do it all, just as fast as him, Baby Lawrence. So that's a big one for me. Okay. And then, you know, because I am an entertainer, I still, Sammy Davis Jr. Sammy Davis Jr. I mean, you know, <laughs> if, if I'm only able to list five, we that, that would be the three albums that, that, that encompass, 
you know, but you got Louis Armstrong. I mean, it's it's hard for me to leave it's it. Impossible. Leave yeah. Louis Armstrong out because he okay. covers the music and the energy. And I know that's six things, but I got. No, we give you an honorable mention. <laughs> Thank you. If I didn't put Louis in there, anybody seeing this say, "Oh, Lonnie, you missed it." <laughs> no, we don't want get him out of here. <laughs> we don't want that. But Louis, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's so that's what I think you got to deal with if you want to check out at least my world, you know, 